why I'm actually recording this on the same day I uploaded the last Fantasy Star video. Obviously, I am recording things well ahead of time. That way, I'm not going to be in a rush when I, uh... Well, or theoretically, anyway, it's not going to be a rush if I were to, say, record when I have to work the next morning. And I already leveled up. Is there a pathway over here? No, I should have known. I don't know how long this video is going to be, or even where I end it. Because depending on how long the video is, or just simply how I feel, I might work end the recording just midway somewhere in the dungeon, in the basically random spot because I guess, you know, I by no means in a rush, but I do want to record other videos. And I've already did a video on this today, so it feels Like, I know this is sort of a bad idea, recording it, like, not quite immediately after I did the last video, but almost. For some reason, it kind of ruins my flow, because I just recorded and pre-uploaded two other videos. This is sort of a bad mojo feeling for me, but, oh well. What the hell are these machines? They look a little suggestive if you have a warped imagination. And I have an extremely warped imagination. Chaz increased. There's thing I checked up here. Ah, oh, what's this? Internal weapon unit for androids. Hyper jammer. Was this something plot significant I needed to get? Or is this just a very special bonus item? I'm thinking it's a very special bonus item. For some reason I remember this being installed on the female android. Whose name I've already forgotten and not Ren. Who's currently installing it now. Okay, good thing I got it. I distinctly remember a scene where the female android needs to install something. I mean, she tells the party to turn around because she doesn't want some looking at her naked. And Chaz kind of being somewhat embarrassed and going, why do I have to turn around? You're an in Oh, fuck. Well, I guess technically I could perma farm these things, assuming the one mine doesn't attack. But, oh well, that's not. Anyways, the, uh, Chaz going, why do I have to turn around your, uh, android, do you even... It's implying that Chaz is going, why do I have to turn around, you've got no... Don't you have no nudity for me to be, to see? 
it was a relatively humorous joke, but I remember when it happened, it kind of got lost in translation. But oh well. Yeah, as I was flying, seems like a little. You know what? I'm not gonna, gonna say what they look like on the off chance that it's my warped imagination and no one else sees it. But I'm seeing something that doesn't look like it shall be seen. If you know what I mean. Hey, that rocked. Accidental rhymes are the best. Well, not the best. I like accidental puns the best. And you might be going, accidental pun? What the hell is an accidental pun? Well, now! That just happened. I know Rune's not that far off from his max HP, but he's below 100 and that makes me nervous. Same with Raga, he's well below 100 and that makes me nervous. Chaz, I'm just gonna put on. Oh, for a brief moment, I thought that narrow hallway was the uh, leading out to the end of the dungeon, but I guess not. It's just a very narrow bridge. You're obviously getting to the point of the game where the Dungeons are getting significant, or the, sorry, the enemies, not the dungeon, the, and a, whoops, enemies in the dungeon are getting significantly harder. But oh well, as to be expected, this is, uh, I guess relatively mid-level point of the game. Obviously, we're going to be encountering harder and harder enemies as we progress. Well, no, 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 I don't want to attack the float mine. No, sorry, that's the command ball. Or sounds very dirty. Command ball. My ball's command. Yeah, I might have to put a not fit for children for this video. Not that I think YouTube is going to care, or if they were to care, not that I think they're going to catch it. But one never knows. Okay, there's a door leading somewhere. Let's check out the other area. One thing I find a little confusing about this dungeon, aka satellite, is all the doors are already open. What? Kinda confuses me, it's a satellite show, I mean, I know it's basically unmanned, but... Okay, there's a door that's closed. Why are some doors closed and some doors open? I honestly... I'm sure they just did it just for the sort of adding variety or... Maybe there's a reason that I don't understand and frankly don't need to, but it is a tad bizarre. 
He's a tad bizarre. Then again, when I play more relatively modern games, there are certain oversights. that Trauma Gear... Oh, never mind, I saw that was that um, gun scene or whatever for a moment. Never mind. Certain minor oversights that most games will do that annoy me. Like, the door always opening outward no matter what side of the door you're on. That's something that even during the beginning of first-person shooter games and the like just always irritated me. You open a door and it will always go outward. I mean, I understand why they did it. It's easier to get, not only is it easier to control it, yes. Having it open inwards or towards you might be a slightly more difficult to program. Plus, you also have to somewhat program going around it potentially. Not that I think a game will, or a game producer or what have you, will actually program it so you step around so the door can't open inwards. That. Games like that, like details like that where they do open in words, that's something I notice. And it's something I appreciate more than I probably should. But it's something I honestly appreciate a lot. When a game pays attention to that minute detail to where one side of the door opens inwards and one side of the door opens outwards. That is a small attention to detail that I always catch and go, okay, even if the game is a bad game, an unenjoyable game, or just a poor graphics game, that is something I always for some reason, it's always notice. Now, if it happens to be a sort of sliding door saloon style thing, that doesn't matter which side, always have it open outwards. That real life, a uh, door like that will always open outwards anyway, depending on if you're pushing it, but. Like those minor attention to detail, I guess. Minor things I notice. What is over here? Here I am going. Let's see. So much for that idea. Well, maybe it'll work. I don't know. Maybe not. But I'm under the impression that so long as there is one empty spot, the command line will command them to stay dormant and call another mine in, not a, have them blow up. That was a weird sound that came from my phone. Anything, whoops, no. Anything over here, another repair kit. Always run the reason to have, considering Brand doesn't use peeling magic or items. How long have I been recording? Eh, not that long, but what I'm gonna do is go over here. And end it now. Take care, everybody, and bye.